So, um, increasing the mileage a bit this week. So today I did 10 miles um, instead of the regular 8 that I was doing last week. So, long as what I've done in a while. So, um, yeah, building back up steady. I did uh, uh, 10 miles in an hour or 10. So that's, you know, 7 minute mile pace. Well, 7 or 1 to be exact. Um, but, um, you know, so I ran from my house in Stillorgan here in like, the lower Kilmacud Road. I ran down through Stillorgan. I ran through Black Rock, through Dean's Grange, into Sainong Park. Sainong Park is four miles from where I live, so I just ran there for like just over two miles, and uh, and then I turned around and came back for the final four miles. So, yeah, eight, ten miles I did. So, uh, mile splits seven forty five for the first mile, uh, seven fifty nine, uh, six forty eight for the third, seven minutes flat for the fourth mile, uh, fifth mile in Sainong Park, six forty five. 6.45 the two miles I got in Sai Long Park, so I pretty much perfectly paced those two miles. Uh, so 6.59 for the 7th, uh, 6.53 for the 8th, uh, 7.20 for the 9th, a bit of an uphill mile, and last mile 6.55. So, yeah, just another 10 miles, easy, you know, not really putting too much effort into it, um, you know, just chilling out. Um, that's the thing, I made another video about this, you have to underdo it to be successful. You know, to me, this is, that's easy, you know, but it's not about just doing, going out, and training one day it's about you know doing it day in day out for years if you want to become a success so you gotta have the patient approach and i know a lot of these high intensity interval training guys but oh that's how fast are you weren't fast you weren't working hard enough you weren't breathing heavy it's like yeah well you know you guys go out and you do your intervals and you breathe heavy and you're bursting your lungs and shit but how long are you gonna do it you're gonna do it for a few weeks maybe two months at most and you're gonna burn out and you're gonna get injured or something you're gonna quit oh, i've been doing this i'm doing this day in day out for years okay so you've got to train sustainably, okay, so, you know, um, yeah, anyway, so just going to keep doing this kind of slow, easy mileage for another two weeks, and then two weeks' time, I'm going to do a session, it's not going to be a fast session, it's going to be like, the plan is marathon pace session, um, I think that's kind of what we do in the athletic club, um, sometimes we even run a bit slower than that, like, you know, like in the past, you know, they had us doing like, you know, just six minute miles, we do a progression where we work our way down to like six minute miles, uh, for maybe like six, seven, eight miles, something like that, so, you know, by doing that, you get the body used to running at a quicker pace, uh, without stressing the body too much. So if you just go from doing base mileage to doing really fast sessions, that's too big a jump. You're gonna burn out. But you need to take smaller steps. So you want to just increase pa the pace gradually. Just get used to your get your body adapted to running at a pace that's a little bit faster than what you're used to, and then you then you, you increase the pace again. So it might be marathon pace runs, maybe tempo runs, which is like your half marathon pace. Uh, then you know, 10k pace, 5k pace. And then maybe, you know, towards the end of the season, you might want to do some top end speed, like, you know, 800 meter pace, 1500 meter pace, 3K pace. Um, that's the plan. Um, you know, when am I racing again? Maybe I might race in August. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. Uh